think this period really showed real innovation in online education. Um, I think there's been countless examples of that over the last two years. Yeah, I agree. I think staff and students are like rallied together. And there was lots of uh, new ways of doing things, like new ways of doing assessment, um, you know, new pedagogical approaches like flipped classroom. So, you know, there's a lot of positive things coming out of experimentation through the whole period. The example that might be a little more unusual is one of student-led peer mentoring towards how to write the perfect laboratory report uh, via a webinar and Zoom by fourth year students to their uh, first and second year undergraduate fellow students. That method has been actually published in the All-Ireland Journal of Higher Education this autumn. I introduced Folio in a creative way where the first years could deliver their e-portfolio. You work away together seamlessly. It's informal, it's fun, they can lead it, you can show what's needed and they can follow and they can carry them forward for the rest of their career. In terms of trying to help students to engage and be awake and look forward to coming to lectures, so I began every lecture with a short music session where I played a piece of something, so that kind of sparked a bit of debate and a bit of chat among the class. Uh, it got to the point where requests were coming in, so we used music at breaks as well. We introduced a number of things to try to replicate an in-person delivery, and that included things like building social coffee calls and little pods into the, into the schedule. Um, we introduced social activities such as online quizzes, uh, Zingo, which is bingo and Zoom combined, um, as well as um, being able to divide the students into pods. Uh, which wouldn't have been which wouldn't have been possible if they were in person in the different um, incubators across the six campuses. One thing we've grappled with for years is trying to get the introvert student to talk or to ask questions in class and that was something I found they were doing online they were typing into chat boxes and feeling comfortable with that in the online space in a way that they don't do in the classroom so I heard from students I'd never heard a word from before. We designed an autism aware um, entry resource and we emailed it to students and we got such good feedback that we used that um, um, idea and did it again this year so we did the second edition this year. Reach Academic Mentoring allows lecturers, 85 of them, to connect in with three and a half thousand mentees across our first years and second years across our campuses and it's very intentional, it allows us to connect with students and most importantly allows students to know that we're there for them. I have found that equally geography could, could, could often be terms be a constraint. So I have a class of students that I want the client to meet on a Tuesday afternoon during their 2 p.m. lecture. Uh, you know, and that mightn't be practical oftentimes for uh, the partner organization, but to be able to do it online, uh, um, you know, overcame that uh, obstacle. Well, academics really rose to the challenge in a really short period of time to put in place a set of alternative learning and assessment strategies for those students for whom unfortunately placement couldn't go ahead as they had hoped. Encrypting the laptops and, and automating the imaging process I think was one of, the, one of the big things we needed to resolve. Obviously there was a skeleton staff on campus during, um, during the pandemic so we had to be efficient um, and as resourceful as possible with the resources that we had.